Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kaiser Redux, where today we will be rebuilding the Roman Empire as the two Sicilies. As you can see in Kaiser Redux, they can do that, so we're gonna you, organize Span Europa soon enough. So let's get to it. Oh boy, I just love the Black Monday event in this mod. You might think that I will first focus on fixing the Black Monday debuffs, but I actually just wanna get rid of the Mafia as soon as possible. Sure, we will leave it for now. Sadly, we can't intervene right now, and the Legion will gain a bit more power. Oh no, Mr. Evola declares a march on the capital. The king really doesn't have much of a choice, and he will have to flee for the hills, and the Legion will take power. Oh no, Julius Evola has taken power in Lego City. I guess we'll just have to become the Roman Empire now. I will fix my economy now, and then we can start going down the fun path. Finally, we shall end the economic crisis, and then we can end the farming crisis. I'm sorry, Pope, but we just cannot right now. Sure, we can trade with the Albanians, for now. Now that we have all but fixed our economy and our industry, I am going to focus on finally... Doing the Ride the Tiger and Restoring Rome <laughs> focuses. I'll start preparing for the war with the SRE. SRI and just take the fight to them because I feel they're kind of weak right now still. It's time for us to resume the civil war and defeat the socialists in the north. We are going to go to war again with the Italians and this time, well, we're going to be the ones that end it all. <laughs> we're about to take Florence and if we have a bit of luck we'll be able to just push towards Turin and Genoa but... Mountains exist here, so that won't be so fun, will it? Oh my god, are we actually gonna take Genoa? <gasps> we did it! It's over. It's finally over. Now let's go attack the Pope. King Emmanuel, the t Victor Emmanuel III has returned and thus we have a king. What we need to do now is just empower the Sicily so the mob doesn't revolt and take power over the country. Let's also just find Republic of Italy since it appears that's the only way we can actually get our stuff. I just realized I didn't even have to justify on the Pope. We could have just done this focus. We will declare war on the Pope very soon now. I am kind of worried about the north, but at the same time, I mean, we can just send like three or four divisions up north to help them out, just in case the Italians declare war on us. Let's go, the pe Pope caved it, and we got Rome. Uh-oh, World War II has broken out, and now, well, it's all out war. <laughs> I will start improving my relations with Sardinia. So once we do demand it, they're more likely for them to give it to us. Oh boy, the Germans are now at war with Russia too. I bet it can't go that bad for them, can it? Ru nah, no way. Let's make Sardinia's final offer and make them part of our country. Oh, I didn't even realize, we can restore the Roman Empire. Well... Obviously, we're gonna beat the third Rome. <laughs> now let's invite the Republic of Italy into our empire instead of fighting them because, well, I think we'll know why. A Sardinia accepted, and now Rome is a bit more whole. Italy is whole once more since the Italian Republic did agree no blood shall be shed on this day and we can go conquer the rest of Europe. Yo, this is the first time that uh, <laughs> the Count Ungern actually takes power in Mongolia from what I have played. I am thinking of just declaring war on France so Germany doesn't fall too fast and we just destroy them really. Like these dudes, yeah, we're not gonna have a fun time if they win. Rebuilding the Colosseum? Of course we will. The justification has been complete. And now let's declare war on the French state. We're just going to defend against them now. And just let them destroy as much of themselves as possible on us. Wait, we're practicing black magic now? How come? <laughs> no. 
we, we don't want just a defensive alliance, we want an actual alliance with you, Romania. You shall be our bestest friend. Not gonna lie, but Roman alliance, mm, it just hits the spot, you know, it's just perfect. I will try an all-out offensive again, but I doubt we'll be able to take anything since they have very good defensive positions, because <laughs> mountains, am I right? Oh boy, we were actually able to break through it one point, and I'm just gonna try to use that breakthrough as much as possible. I doubt we'll get much more from it, but anything we do get, great. I'm just gonna chill for a bit now. Clean up the pockets, well, mainly this one, and then we can continue our advance. Dude, Romania, as much as I wanna help you, I just can't right now. We have to finish off the French and the British first, then we can come and help you. Let's launch the all-out offensive now, I'm pretty sure. The French resistance in the south won't be as hard and strong as in the north that the Germans have to face. Boys, we're bringing not just the gladiator games, but also the chariot games back. Let's go! Boys, it's time for another all-out offensive on the French front. Now let's just go all in and defeat them and rebuild Rome, or rather just call for now. Let's just stop the offensive, it seems we can't get past the Rhone river. <gasps> we have broken through in the south, let's continue the push going until, well, we get to Paris somehow. I don't know how we'll get from here all the way to there, but we will. Wait, when did we break through in the north? I didn't even realize that. Let's go. If I do this focused, we should be able to claim most of it. Or at least get most of the territory in the Pizdle since we'll have claims on them, so it'll cost less for us. Wait, we can restore the Roman Empire again? Hmm, that's cool. Let's try to push towards Paris and just capitulate the French. Boys, we're right at the gates of Paris. However, they are garrisoning, and garrisoning it, so we can take it with, without a fight. I'm actually half convinced we can try to do an all-out offensive again. Because the French don't have that many troops along the border. We have kinda encircled Paris, as you can see, we just need to capture two more tiles and then Paris has truly been encircled and besieged. I think we can finally do the final offensive push, now for real for real, like this time it is for real, and just end the French communist threat once and for all. We have taken Paris. And I think the French are just about to capitulate, or rather they're really close to it. I think if we take Nantes and Brest, they should capitulate. Yo, I'm pretty sure the Germans are about to finish off France. And then only Britain remains, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, hey, they have capitulated. And now we can just finish off the remaining troops in, well, mainland Europe. Let's go and invade Britain. I think we can land successfully and take it, or at least get a beachhead, but the Germans are already doing it, so let's go. London Bridge has fallen down, fallen down, and so will Britain. And just like this, we are victorious and we can take over most of Europe. With this, we have secured our hold over most of Europe, even some small parts in America, and we can continue our conquests now, going on and defeat Switzerland. Sure, we will let Latvia be free. Switzerland has been neutral for far too long and thus we have to end them. We have defeated Switzerland and we don't have any manpower left, so I don't know what to do now. <laughs> okay, the plan now is to disband these two armies and then invade Spain. So let's just do it and goodbye to fully armed and stocked armies so we can take Spain back. Now let's go to war with both of the Spains and end the civil war they have. I'm pretty sure we're about to defeat the Carlists, and then we can just go defeat the other monarchists as well. Let's go, we defeated the Carlist. Carlists and now we'll have to reconquer all of this territory, won't we? Mm. Oh, never mind. At least the front lines are still well and intact. Kingdom of Spain shall fall soon too, we just need to take Madrid and it's all over. Just like this, we could say that Western Rome is back. Anyhow, I'll end the video here since 
I don't really know how I can proceed. I mean, if I declare war on Germany, I think they will just steamroll me too fast. If I declare it on Austria, it's the same case scenario. So I can't really up my conscription, so yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all had fun watching it. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day. And until next time, bye bye.